So what I'm going to do here is teach you how to subtract by adding. Let's start with an example. So I'm just making up random numbers. What you usually have to do here is you either have to use your calculator or you have to use the borrowing system to find the answer, which is pretty slow. So what you can do here is a actually pretty easy way, which is adding it. So what you do here is you take the number that you're minusing from the original number and you do for the last digit, you do 10 minus 4 and everything else you do 9. So any digit in front of 10, oh, in front of the last one. You do 9 minus 2, 9 minus 1, 9 minus 3. So what you should get here is... That's the number you should get from subtracting them. And what you do here is, you take this number and you put it here. And instead of minusing, what you do is you add them together. And then the number you should get is this. So what you do is, you look at the, how many digits is in the original number that you're subtracting from. And you get rid of all the digits in front of the ones that you don't need. And that should be the answer. And you can check it with a calculator or um, by doing the original method, but this should be the correct answer. So, how does this work? So how it works is a little bit like the idea of thinking about a glass half full or half empty. So what you're doing here is sort of like when you minus, you're thinking of how many you're taking away from the original number. But the way we use here is sort of like thinking how, how much is left. So what you do here is, these are the numbers that are left. And you take this and you add it here. And you ignore any digits that are extra here. So it's like the surplus of digits. So if I only have four digits here, I ignore everything in front of it. So, that's how it works. So like any good rule, there are extensions to this rule. I actually, actually found these out while I was doing um, these demonstrations, and I actually just literally learned these as I was filming my outtakes. So, extensions here um, are ones such as this. What happens when you minus a number that has zero at the end? So what you, do, what you have to do here is, first of all, you, have to, you can solve this by yourself, which is this is really easy. Oh. So, what happens here is that the number here, the last digit, as you know, you have to minus by 10. What happens here is that when 10 minus 0, you get 10. But you can't do it in one digit, so you have to move it 4 into here. So, 9 minus 1 equals 8, and you have to plus 1 more. So, 9. What you get here is, and as you, as you remember, you get rid of the digit that we do not need here, and that's the answer. Another extension here is negative numbers. So, what happens when you do this? The, the result you get here should be a negative. So, what you do here is actually a little bit more tricky. So, you do it as usual. So, 22, 10 minus 2, 8, 10 minus. 9 minus 2, sorry, is 7. So what we get here is not the correct number here. So what you have to do is you actually have to look at how many digits you have here and then think of one more digit. It's a little bit too complicated. So what you have to do is this is where you're looking at. And you do 100 minus 89 to get 11. And that is the answer. So it's a little bit more complicated, and I just figured this out like five minutes ago, but that's another extension for this one. So I hope this actually is easier for you guys to do than just simple subtraction, and I hope this helped with SAT or whatever that you needed to do subtracting on.